Well, I didn't think I'd be including this in uh, this cutting board video, but the boards are sold out. Just like hotcakes, they're gone. <laughs> Here we are. It's a uh, another season. Holidays are upon us, and it's time for another batch of cutting boards. So uh, this is going to be less of a how-to and tips. Hope you enjoy. So here we are. I uh, have a lot of Wenge this time. Almost no Paduk. They were out of Paduk, so uh, just a, a very little Paduk. I think I might take it out of some uh, eight-quarter stuff that I got for making some C tables. That was the, the good quality stuff. This is, I'm not sure how this will plane out, you know, if the color will come back, but it looks kind of sappy, so it's not as rich in color. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people ask, you know, where do I get the hardwood? Alaska uh, Hardware Specialties in Anchorage. They're awesome. My garage, my little garage is shrinking. More tools, less room. And, um... This video will probably come out before the cutting board video is done. Epoxy is another coat of epoxy on another side. You will see that in another video. And thank you guys to all my subscribers. I really appreciate it. You know, for all the people who uh, subscribe to my channel for mining or boating or hunting, well, this one's for woodworking. So all you woodworker subscribers, hope you enjoy. Everybody else, uh, hope you enjoy also.
And that was the fun part. Got all the strips cut. On to uh, sanding, sanding the strips because those are gonna be not planed. Time for glue. Looking like 20 something boards, 22 boards ish. Ready to glue some boards. Well, I've been borrowing piles of pipe clamps because I just haven't wanted to make the investment, I guess. And I finally found some made in the USA pony clamps. Uh, locally found them used. That'll only get me halfway through the stack for tonight. That's pretty impressive.
Well, between the tiny shop, shuffling stuff around, filming, editing, the wife and the kid, it's hard to get stuff done around here. In Alaska just isn't helping me out with another foot of snow. More snow blowing, more shoveling. I swear this is like the 20th time I've shoveled snow in the past two months. Oh, we got eight inches. It sure looked like a foot. I had a couple of wormholes pass by me. I didn't catch it, so filled them with uh, epoxy. Seven uh, 60 inch runs. Get three boards each, it's 21 boards. Gonna do a, a quick, quick sand and then uh, cut them to length. Okay, I gotta say, this uh, buck tool, this is the eight inch disc, four inch belt combo. That just saved me a ton of time on my burn marks. Wow. Sweet tool. So, uh, affiliated links, I will link this, uh, plus other tools that I like. I'm not sponsored in any kind of way. Um, I will put this link up there, and if you guys happen to want to buy one, please use my link. Uh, it doesn't cost you guys anything, and I will keep up on uh, the, the right links with the right prices, the best prices on Amazon, and, uh, you know, helps support my channel. Thank you. That pile was edge and ingrained with a uh, 240 grit belt. This thing is a serious time saver. It's direct drive. Uh, it's cheap. It's not as cheap as I said yesterday. I said it was 150 bucks. It's $229. But you get a pile of belts, 12 belts, six different grits from 60 to 400, I believe. Uh, that was 20 bucks. And I would say that saved me uh several hours total from trying to hand sand if you want to support the channel even a little bit like 
comment, subscribe, ask me any questions. I pretty much answer uh, everybody, and I appreciate you guys being here. A little more than halfway there. If anybody tells you that they enjoy sanding for a couple hours straight, I'm pretty sure they're lying. Raise the grain with a little bit of water. So now it's filling, you know, all the little fibers lift up and it's feeling a little rough. Getting a hand sand. Finally done sanding. Glad that's over with. Mineral bath is done and I messed up. One thing I forgot, kind of important. So now that they have finish on them, it'll still work. It's just gonna be a pain. actually worked out pretty good there was a couple you know burn burn throughs I'll just have to sand the, the top of that but not that big of a mistake uh, not getting the stamp on there before the oil we're gonna apply some butcher block conditioner the uh, stuff I like to use we're gonna do it with a heat gun get it to get some of the waxes to penetrate in there About a full day uh, that these have been coated with the Howard's butcher block conditioner uh, about four different coats using the heat gun uh, and heating it up in the, the pot there to get it to really soak in into the wood I uh, you know I did do the the first mineral oil bath so now these are gonna get uh, dried off and buffed and uh, your toy made a big mess but that's my ideas I'm gonna be working on Turning some uh, some bowls here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. 